wonderful film, by the way. Uh, and uh, a tough act to follow, but you followed it well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Jeff Stockwell. I'm a screenwriter, and I'm here as one of, part of the sponsorship for the Writers Guild. Uh, uh, and we're going to have a QA and a uh, with Evo. About, so maybe now I leave. You can sit up if you want to <laughs> I, and, and join the conversation. OK, OK. You can also go ahead and drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we're just going to talk for about 20 minutes. Yeah, I just didn't want to bother. But <laughs> uh, I think it looks more, more complete. It's a nice art yeah, okay. There's some symmetry to it. Um, and, and then I think there are links in the in the in the themes of the of the two movies. Uh, they're related to womanhood in, in in different ways. So yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's an amazing link. Fun to start talking about is how much each of you got from your act actors just in their faces and the facial expression. And both the films uh, are built partly around the main character's inability to, to say what's cooking inside them. In your case, the little girl has this terrible fear that looking at the pornography is, you know, has caused her menstruation to start. And in yours, you know, Maria is holding so much within. That she, that she can't express clearly. Uh, uh, so it's really wonderful how that instinct to want to get it all out drives both characters to both of them. So there's some neat links there. So because I'm a writer, I'm going to ask some writer questions up front. Oh, great. So we, have all kinds of, we have all kinds of angles to come from, since you're also the director and a wonderful actor in the film. Uh, and we'll get to all of those things. But I'm always intrigued on how do writers get at the interior life of a character um, when there's so much cooking in the character's head. And how do you do it without, without overt dialogue that says, here's exactly how I'm feeling, here's what I'm afraid to express. And I thought that, that you did an amazing job at, on two fronts, finding ways to explore Maria's inner life. Um, and the first, the first one is there's so much language in the film that has two meanings. I think it's really, it's something I really noticed in the film. There's so many things being talked about where it's someone is talking about one thing, but they're actually talking about something else that's cooking within. Do you want to talk about that? No, it's, it, I'm, I'm, it's very interesting that you, that you know this, that, and I'm, I'm very happy that you're, that you're coming up with, with that uh, uh, thought. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something you, we were looking for. And it's, it's, it's interesting to see how much, uh, uh, you get with a different language, right? And just reading subtitles, and uh, so I was I was curious. I was sitting in the room actually. Uh, I hadn't seen it in a while, and it, it was nice to see it with a with a foreign audience. And just the uh, the thoughts going through my head were different. At, at many moments, I was wondering, oh, do you think they're getting it? And do, so obviously, yeah, you 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 got uh, you got that. So so that's great. Yeah, we were trying to um, to say as little as possible and to show as much as possible. So trying to, to find out uh, uh, visual means to, to embody uh, feelings and thoughts and stuff like that, uh, rather than blah, 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 blah. But, but you do do the dialogue in some really amazing ways. The scene that leaps out to me, of course, is the scene where they're up in the plaster room attic. Uh, and then uh, you guys come up and start having your little fun. And, um, and of course, it's, it's a hilarious scene, but it's also a heartbreaking scene because they're talking about uh, the professor and the administrator having sex. Uh, it, have they changed position? Yes, they choose, uh, they're in a new place. They're in a new place. Is it over? Yes, I think it's over. All of that's really, of course, Hubert and Maria talking about the little connection that they've started to build is shifting and ending too, and it's just. You do that time and again throughout the movie in a lovely way. It, actually, it's uh, what we're sometimes trying to do is uh, uh, getting the, the the funny stuff or trying to when it's heartbreaking or I don't know if heartbreak. I'm just uh, taking the same word. Okay, when it's heartbreaking or we're trying it to make it heartbreaking, and uh, but we we like to also put laughs in at the same time if possible. And, and actually, it's uh, it's another uh, director who told us. You know, in, in French, there's this word where you're saying, "Oh, you're in, in, you're in a thin line between uh, laughs and uh, tears." 
And a, a director seeing a, one of our previous works say, no, you're not on a thin line. You're, you're in the laughs and in the tears and you can have both existing at the same time. Yeah, in, uh, in the lust. L lust yeah? uh, no laughs. Like, uh, oh, like lost, yeah, uh, uh, smiles, laughing. Uh, oh, and, laugh. Yeah, having sorry. You were into no, the, yeah, having laugh comedy, having and comedy, tear. and having tears yeah, at the same time. Laugh and tears. Yes, at least it's what we're trying to do. Uh, and lust as well, obviously, <laughs> in that specific scene. <laughs> do you want to totally. so translate giant oh, Okay. Great. All right. Fantastic. But no, that I might be, I might be stuck at some point with some technical words, so she's okay. there just to make me feel safe. Yeah, I mean, I had the had the luck of being able to watch the film twice, so it's fun to come to the second time when you all get to it a second time. It's even little moments like with the daughter, when the daughter just takes the credit card and says "contactless." You know, it's like, oh, you guys, you keep doing it. You know, again and again, finding these double meanings in these in these lovely. For, for us, it's little moments that make us smile, you know, so, and hopefully, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that you, that you, that you got these and... Well, I mean, it, it, for the other writers in the room, you know, we all struggle with how do you get this stuff out without so we, goofy, yeah. expository dialogue. So the other thing that you do beautifully, um, and of course, your film also celebrates the sense of, of where it is. It's happening in a very specific and wonderful place. Uh, um, when, by, by setting the, the, uh, the story in the Beaux Arts, um, the, the setting I think really becomes a character in this film, and that happens in other films too. But it, you know, this really stands out to me how much the film, the, the, the school itself, is a character, and how much the school itself does this work I'm talking about of helping us get into Maria's mind. Now, the French, the French title is Maria Dreams. Is that? Yeah. And so, in a way, I think, uh, I mean, titles are always tough when you translate them, but it kind of pushes at the way that the school gives us a visual cue to her dreams and, and things going on. And obviously, the great embodiment of that is the kiss, the, the wonderful kiss, uh, where you so nicely set up that amazing screen thing before. But time and again, you get inside her by watching her slowly open up to the art that's going on. It's the beauty, um, what are the two words? Beauty and... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, beauty becomes belief. Beauty becomes belief. So on the one level, we're watching this piece of art come to life, but we're also sort of just having a light shown into Maria. But obviously the big piece, uh, we are poems. We are, yeah. we are poems, which is an actual piece. It is an actual yeah. piece, um, which is still in Paris. Yeah. yeah. You can see it if you walk by the, the school of so, Sozal. So we incorporate that into her when we've seen her writing the poem. So again, I'm sure that was very conscious, but can you talk about the yes. setting and your choice to set the story there and your connection to the school? Well, it, 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 it happened in, in, in levels. So uh, we, we, had a, uh, we visited the school once with uh, Lauriane, which is the, the co-screenwriter and co-director of the film. And she's also acting as uh, Mrs. Desnoyers. So the, the the school director, um, and she's also your wife. And she's also and she's also my my the, my wife and mother of uh, of two kids that we, that we have together. Yeah. That last one. And, and she couldn't be here for work reasons, but she she would have I'm sure loved to be here. Uh, no. So regarding the the Beaux Arts school, we just we once uh, walked in there with her, and we thought it was a wonderful setting. And we have this um, this willingness to to explore characters that are that are going out of the comfort zone or um, moving out of what society uh, or families or uh, maybe us ourselves have expected for these characters. Um, and so, first we thought it was a very cinematic uh, space, um, and then when we thought about the, the, what was taught in in the Beaux Arts. We thought, well, it's great because we have students that are very different from our character of Maria, uh, so they will be able to push her around. And it's also a space where, um, uh, as opposed to other studies where you, that are more scientific, uh, where you have to, to redo the same thing very specifically and you can be right or wrong, 
here there's, there's a certain freedom, a certain um, a space where you're, you're asked to, to try out stuff and to be wrong and to try again and to go find whatever's closest to you and find your own art. And so we thought there was a link with, with Maria's um, path throughout the movie, which is all, she's also trying to go to get closer to herself. And then there's the art itself, which I believe um, to some extent can be something that when you look at it, you, you can be touched or not, but if you're touched, it can, it can reach directly to a, to a special place that doesn't, that doesn't um, how should I put it? It doesn't go through your brain, it can touch you um, emotionally. And so that's what we're, uh, we're trying to uh, explore as well with Maria, is like getting in touch with, with these emotions that she doesn't even know she has in her and are, that are revealed by seeing pieces of art. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a genius choice. I mean, I think of the scene where she's uh, doing the cleaning dance, the, the simple gesture of cleaning uh, becoming something beautiful there. So. And, and I have to say, we were really helped by our uh, production designer. <laughs> That's the, the technical word that I needed. And, and uh, he, he was wonderful. He, was, uh, he had done Les Beaux-Arts when he was uh, younger, so he was very happy and eager to, to do all these pieces of art. So there, was, uh, there were some that were very specific um, in, in the scenario, in the screenplay, and some others that weren't, but he, he had an, 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 a really great added value. Um, and we had um, uh, students from the Beaux-Arts actually help do all these pieces, because all the pieces you see in the, in the movie were made specifically for it. And the students from the Beaux-Arts, they, they were also uh, doing uh, extras extra work in the movies, so most of the students that you see are real Beaux-Arts students. Well, it's also lovely. We've seen many, many films that love making fun of, mm. of a situation like that, of all the kind of pretentiousness of art scenes and the ridiculousness of art schools. And which, which, yeah, it, which, can, which can happen. It can happen, but I really love that you guys, you're just loving that space. We're in it with Maria. We're not there to mock it. I mean, there's still some fun, and we're still looking at something like, oh, heavens. Uh, now, is, is, the, is the student's name Noel? Uh, uh, Naomi. Naomi. Yeah, so when she gets going about her theories, we yeah. have some fun. But, uh, but, but you're right, you, you, you nailed it actually. We were trying to get uh, Maria's uh, perspective and point of view on all this. Yeah. So there's some, yeah, some stuff can be funny, but there's a lot of discovery as well. well our art schools everywhere are going to love you now. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. Uh, and, no, and, and, and we, we tried actually, it's, it, it's, it comes to my mind because when you mentioned the, the screens and all that, uh, we tried to, uh, to, to make, uh, to have these two people that, are, that have nothing to do with art and that are not artists, they're saying it themselves, um, we tried to have their story and their kiss become a work of art without them being aware of it, sort of. No, I think that works beautifully. Um, there, there's, uh, there's a, so many, I mean, there's so much to talk about, but let me go to another area that fascinates yeah, and, me. And, oh, and I was going to say, I don't, I don't know if it's open to yeah, we can, audience, we can, but if you guys have, have questions, by all means, right? Yeah, well, I'll take a few minutes at the end. How much sure. time is always going much faster, I think. I'll ask a couple more questions, and then if anyone wants to ask a question, please uh, come up and get it. But the other, the other great thing, it's, it's the American French Film Festival now. It's always going to be the City of Lights and City of Angels to me. But the, um, uh, and one of the great differences, I think, in the cultures, and it's a little bit of a uh, generalization, but is the difference in the way we approach affairs in, in our two cultures. Um, and there's a long, wonderful history of affairs in French film, and there's a very different history of affairs in American film. Usually in American film, it involves being stabbed to death at the end. Yeah. And, 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 and French films involves Soul searching and opening up and moving that way. Um, but no drama about that. No, it's okay. That's a terrible generalization. I know. But I, I did. I was uh, very interested again in how how sensitive you were in, in handling the husband. Um, and he's you know he's not. Uh, there's many things about him that are kind of uh, kind of lovely. He's not a terrible person. Of course, he's not the most uh, present or sexually excited person on the planet, but, um, but I, thought, I, thought, 
I thought it was a wonderful choice that you give him so much depth. He has a he has a valid complaint. His best friend has has run away with his daughter. Uh, that's something that people would work to get over. Um, so he doesn't seem unreasonable. I just can you talk a little about the, the characters? Yeah. Well, how you well I'd like to talk about the, the uh, first of all the, the actor. I think uh, did a, did a wonderful yeah. job. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm glad you're, you're seeing it that way. Um, and, and it's funny because in terms of differences also between uh, U.S. And, and French cinema, I don't know. Um, when I when we show this movie in in France, me sitting in the room, I'm like, oh, this is a mainstream movie. And being here in the room, suddenly it felt very auteur, you know, because <laughs> I'm like. It's, that's not really the kind of stuff that you used to in the US. Are you insulting American cinema? <laughs> no, no, I love American cinema. But it's like, it, it felt a, a much more, you know, smaller than, than the way it feels in Paris, for instance, you know? Um, and, and so regarding the, 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 the part of the, of the husband, yeah, we, we didn't want to make him, actually we didn't want to make him uh, a jerk because then there's, there's nothing the, the whole thing is, is this internal fight for Maria. Am I staying with my husband or not? Or what's, you know, what's right for me now? And if, if the guy is a jerk, then you're like, hey, I'm gone and that's it. Um, and, and we try to make him also evolve throughout the movie. Uh, th there are steps he's making towards, towards her saying, oh, at, at first he's like, no, I don't want, I can't talk to my daughter, it's impossible for me. And then he moves towards, okay, I'm going to think about it. And he's also, um, we, we try to, without confronting his wife uh, directly, he's also sort of sort of realizing what's, that something is going on, and he suddenly comes up with uh, with you know a, a cool breakfast the the night after she got she came home really late. So yeah, he, yeah, we felt like he he our idea was okay. He knows something's going on, maybe not exactly what, but um, yeah. Well, and also the last little scene where uh, Maria has left him, the pigeon, uh, with the indication that it's a house in Portugal, seems like a gentle, to me it read as a gentle gesture on her part, it's like, hey, you can, you can break out of you know, yeah, your yeah. life too. It, it, you know? Exactly, and, that, and that's the, the, you're totally right, the, the, the theme that we wanted to explore is, is what do we have in life and uh, to which extent is it, is it the, the right spot and the right place for us. Uh, initially in the screenplay there was a, a point where he mentioned that he, he'd love to be, that it was shitty weather here today and it was like a little sentence like, hey, thinking that in Portugal right now it's 28 degrees, you know, a little bit like us when we're in Paris and we're thinking of Los Angeles. Um, and so, so that, that went away in the, in the editing room. But uh, we felt like, yeah, that there, there's still this uh, this possible longing of, of somewhere else or something else where he might or might not uh, want to be want to grow and and yeah, it, um, there was this this yeah growing and what's the right place for you thing undercurrent theme going on there as well. Yes, it's hard to tell if we'll ever get back to Portugal, but I like the gesture there. Um, does anyone does what I have plenty of questions? But would anyone like to ask? Them? in a different direction than I'm heading. If you do, just wander up to the stage and I'll hand you the mic. But while it's, we're waiting to have I just have an, another, um, another one is about, uh, about Kareem, the lead actress, and how unbelievable, what an unbelievable performance that is, how much, how much she's, she literally blossoms from within the way you can see it. Uh, you can see it in her hairstyle, but you can also see it in her face and her movement. As actors who are also directors, can you talk a little bit about your process of working with actors? Well, with with her specifically, she's, her uh, her original energy is a, is a lot higher than the than the character of Maria. So um, so it, it was really a, a work of toning everything down and have have her move more slowly and all that. Um, and actually. We talked a, a lot about the character beforehand, and a couple of weeks before the shooting, she was a little um, nervous, and she was like, mm, I'm, I'm, not sure I, I'm not sure I'm there yet in terms of the work, and I'm not sure I, I completely got who, who she is, that Maria. And so as we were talking, there was this one sentence that she said, oh yes, I got it. And it's, it was, it was uh, Lauriane, um, 
my co-screenwriter, who, who told her, well, uh, it's a woman who, who's trying to, to make herself not seen, you know? It's like uh, these uh, cleaning ladies, when they come in the room, and part of the job, um, it, nobody talks about it, but uh, it's sort of embedded in the job, this idea that you should be quiet, and nobody should see you, and it's as if I'm not here, you know, I'm doing my job, but I'm not disturbing anyone. And so when, when that sentence was said, she was like, okay, I got it. And so it's something that, that shifted in her mind at that point. Um, but in terms of the work on the set, uh, she's very bright, very quick, and we had a, a first assistant, uh, is that the way you call it in English? Uh, first assistant who'd already worked with her and who had told us, yeah, you gotta be, you know, use short sentences, be quick, to the point, because she, she doesn't like a lot of blah blah. Uh, so we were always trying to be very efficient when we talked to her. And uh, no, I think, I think she did a lovely job. And there's one thing that's very difficult to, to figure out, and that's really her talent, is, is in terms of the body and the way she evolves through uh, the movie, of course we're shooting it out of order. So it's like, okay, is this gonna work in terms of you know uh, how it moves, moves and blossoms through the movie? And so you, you only have the answer at the end, really, when you're putting all this together. And you're like, okay, I think I think this works. To keep the continuity. Yeah, to keep the continuity and, and how 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 she works with that. Oh, you got so much out of her and out of out of Gregory also. Just uh, I don't know if having a team of directors of a man and a woman is is double the fun in terms of... Well, it's, it's half the work for us, <laughs> that's what it is. And half the stress. Oh, is there a question? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to shout it out, or do you want to... Oh, I have... Oh, I have the mic, too. Where's the mic? Where's the mic? <laughs> Over there. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't have a question. I have a statement, and we see a lot of French uh, films. My husband's from France. These two are two of the best. I am so inspired and filled with creative emotion right now. I can relate to the Ajinabi film uh, in another way. And Maria Rev, I, I just sat here and I thought, oh my God, I'm so excited because I want to go home and start writing. Mm -hmm. it, just, it just brought out so much emotion in me because this, both stories were so real and I could relate to something in both of the stories. Not the thing about the husband, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said yeah, that. Right yeah, having your husband but, next but to you, that person, was the right thing to say. Yeah, as a real person, I can relate to that actually happening. But I'm so happy that I saw this, and thank you both very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you for the, for these lovely comments. Uh, this this is really touching because uh, obviously, if we're if we're making movies to to share it with people afterwards, and and uh, a comment like that. It makes us think that what we make uh, makes sense, you know. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, same comment. Thank you for making it. Both of the movies were incredible. Um, my question was regarding the casting. We were talking about uh, Karin and also the male lead, which name I don't know. Gregory. Gregory. It seems to me that there is a slight age difference between them. Yeah, there is. And um, uh, Karine is actually 10 years older than him. Uh, we have this, there's this, um, actually I'm glad you're bringing it up because I don't know how it is in, in the US regarding that, but in, in France at the moment, there's, um, there's a movement that putting in, that's putting into light the fact that, at least in France, um, we have, uh, in France we have, uh, 50% of the, the women uh, over 18 that are over 50. Was I clear in my sentence? So women over 18 years of age, so the women that are, that are into the, the active life, um, um, that are, how do you say major in English? Huh? The one that are past, eight, past 18 okay. the, years the, old. If you take all women in, in of legal age, so the women of legal age in France, half of them are more than 50 years old, but when you look at, uh, um, at movies, there's only 8% uh, 
uh, of women that are over 50 years of age. If you look at the, yeah, in the movies. So if you look at the salaries of actors over 50, it goes plus 12%. Women over 50, it goes minus 8%. If you look at the age difference between uh, a male and a female in real life, it's two years in France, the man being older than, than the woman by two years. On screen, it's usually between 10 and 15 years. So there's a real issue there, uh, or I, I think there is an issue, um, of, of women over 50 being underrepresented uh, on screen. Um, so we had, we had a, a conscious will of A, representing women over 50, and uh, without wanting to make an issue out of it, uh, yeah, having, having the lead actress being older than, the, than the, the male love interest was a, was a conscious choice, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. <laughs> Évidemment, elle est fabuleuse comme d'habitude. Et merci d'avoir fait ce choix. Merci beaucoup. Non, merci à vous. Any other questions? Oh, uh, here's someone down here. I just wondered how you um, decided to who directed which parts of the movie. Since you co-directed, like, yeah. did you write scenes that you wanted to direct? <laughs> Very good. And then you, you do that one, I'll do the next one, and, and, and then I'll, do, I'll take two days off. And <laughs> <laughs> no, the way we did it, um, the only thing we were worried about, I think if you're, if you're two directors, our experience is it's okay as long as we have the same vision and we want to go to the same place. And that was the case with us, so we, we were fine with that. There was no... Um, fighting on, on the set or in the preparation of the movie of where I want to go this way and you want to go this way. Uh, but we were worried on, on the set of having uh, me come up to whatever the actor is, the, the DOP or you name it, and say one thing and then Lorian come up a second later and say something else. So we decided to have Lorian talk to the actors and I was talking to the technique. So that's the way, apparently, and when we said that to the team, they said, well, yeah, that's the way you started. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then throughout the, the, the working process, as, as confidence grew or, uh, you know, so it, it became a bit more, um, yeah, everybody was talking to everybody. But since there was a, uh, it's, it's our first movie, so there was a lot of preparation ahead. And uh, we haven't, if we had a, a moment where, I said black, and she said white a second later. Uh, people didn't tell us. So I, th I, th I think we're sort of reasonably uh, going along the same way. And in terms of, of, um, of really, in terms of, um, uh, how should you put that, uh, pressure, it really takes off being, being two and being able to talk about everything. It really takes off a lot of pressure, and, and, and really it's, a, it's less work. It's less pay as well. But. But were there like technical things like uh, she does more of uh, like very technical aspects, you are more with the actors or something like that? On, on the set, mm, not that I'm aware of. Um, in, in the editing process, she's, she's more of a, she's got more of a overview thing and, and when it gets too detailed, uh, it annoys her. So she's like, okay, I'll let, I'll let you work it out and I'll come back in a half an hour, you know? And I really like being precise in, with stuff, so I was doing more of the nitty gritty work with the, with the um, editor. Uh, and, and maybe on the set, she's got a, uh, a keener eye for, for maybe costumes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's, it, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit, I, I'll have to, to do it again and to be a bit more aware of of what's going on and to how we work to be able to analyze it better. Yeah. I just wanted to follow up, so was there ever like a ask your mother, ask your father kind of moment, you know, like when you're dealing with two people in charge, like with a household where um, somebody might answer that question. Ask your mother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, the, the, we were usually, if there were questions, we were trying to answer them together and, and we weren't deflecting on the other. Well, I, or if, I, if we did that, I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Uh, 
Uh, I think we're out of time. I, I, there's so many lovely things to talk about. We didn't get a chance to talk about the incredible music that they always work. Uh, and it, I, I think it's really worth listening to, to that lovely music and how important the music was throughout the story. But anyway, thank you both. Thank you. I'm sorry about the Welcome to LA with the car bomb. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks for all coming.